There's a new boss in Ender's Echo, the Bouncy Bear. So let's try some things out to see how we can get maximum damage. First, we're going to use the common survivor, the red shotgun, all red S-grade eternal gear and these tech parts. Let's go. Here's Bouncy Bear. We're going to attack it for the first time. Let's grab Type A drone. Grab this green biofuel around him. I'm not getting a good skill selection choice right here. Let's burn a refresh. I guess I'll grab the soccer ball. He has spawned. He's going to walk around us slowly. He has a red circle around him. Looks like he's going to pound on the ground. Has some type of area skill right there. And there are also a lot of bears here. Look at all of these bears. Terrible skill choices again. I've really been having bad luck with my skill choices. You can watch my previous video. Maybe the update made skills harder to get. Who knows? Who knows? I've just been having some horrid luck. There's Type A Drone. I want to find Type E Drone. Make the Destroyer. The Destroyer is probably the best skill to use against bosses here. And weapons I would prefer to use would be the Shotgun, the Void Power Weapon, and the Kunai. I know a lot of people like the Kunai. It's automatic, but I have gotten more damage with the Shotgun. I have just about every weapon at a red grade, so I can test everything out here. So if you want to see real guides about how to get real damage against bosses like this make sure to like and subscribe let's go grab this bomb destroy the mobs walk around this bear in a circle we do have these drones right here that can cause a lot of damage and you also want to avoid that red circle when he pounds on the ground and i would like to mention i'm not going for the most damage right now i'm not particularly going for maximum damage i'm just trying things out i would like to see his entire procedure i would like to see how this boss performs i want to watch his dance he has a little pound on the ground he has this big pound on the ground and he launches is like meteors at you. He also rushes you like that with some karate chops. If you're brave, another thing you may want to try is to die early to get a revival boost. When you die and revive, if you're using the eternal suit, your attack and your speed will increase. So it's just another way to get a boost. We are getting surrounded by bears. Look at this. They keep on spawning around us and the boss in circles. There they are. Look at that. Let's grab this magnet. We need more stuff. There's the Gatling gun. Let's freaking melt this boss. With the Gatling gun, we can pretty much just wipe out all these bears that surround us by spinning in a circle like that with killer sean killer sean really only shot from left to right he doesn't shoot up and down so let's see let's try to move up and down around this boss spin in a circle this is a lot easier on a phone by the way let's get him he's going to rush us he's going to rush us and shoot meteors at us let's get him let's get him we're getting surrounded by bears gotta spin gotta spin in a circle do some ballet to evade the bears and just keep on going let's get the bouncy bear since we're approaching the four minutes and 40 second mark you know we're pretty much done here so i'm just going to die for a second time get the second revival boost with only 10 seconds left that's fine 3180 our best is 6665 i haven't seen anyone surpass that yet gatling 32 percent type a drone 45 soccer ball 8 lightning emitter 1 modular mine 1 type b drone 14 let's try the void power weapon hello bouncy bear i guess i'll choose the brick right away and let's grab all of this biofuel let's go attack this bear right here i guess i'll grab the lightning emitter i like the void power weapon here it's pretty easy to kill all these little mobs and attack the bear at the same time. Kill two birds with one stone. Let's get the soccer ball. I'm not finding the drone. Just horrible luck. But you know what? When you get bad luck, you have to be optimistic. That's why I look at it. Like, what is this? The Molotov? The Koga Ninja Scroll? The Boomerang? There's type B drone. We burned a refresh, but we found type B drone. That's fine. Let's grab this magnet right away. There's the high power bullet. I really like the high power bullet. Let's get more soccer ball, I guess. We're going to increase our attack. I guess I have to choose the Koga Ninja Scroll if I want to find the right drone. There's Mo Ronan Oyori. There's type A drone. We had to select some passive skills that we wouldn't normally like to select, but we did find both drones eventually. More high power bullet, please. I want to increase the attack. Let's see if we can die right here too. Let's get the revival effect in action. You can't kill what's already dead. We have revived and he is launching meteors all over the place, or should I say bouncing them all over the place. We are just ping pong balls to him and this is his ping pong court. Now, as you already know, the drones are the best skills to use against bosses, but you want to remain close to them. And the kunai is a great weapon, but I still get more damage with the shotgun or the void power weapon. I just chose the fitness guide there on accident, but we're going with it. But the kunai is still an excellent choice. If you have the kunai, the shotgun, the void power weapon, maybe even the revolver, try them out. Also, make sure that you have equipped the precision device tech part so that you can get homing missiles from the drones. Otherwise, they're going to fire them sporadically around your survivor. If you have the brick equipped like I do, you might also want to try going under or above the boss. You can also bring them to the side right here. Try to cause as much damage with them as you
you can. He's jumping. He's jumping. Run. Oh, I can't do it fast enough on the tablet. This isn't as much damage as before, but you know what? The Gatling gun is a DPS weapon, one of the best in the game. If we did things differently, we could probably get more damage. We're not really going for the most damage overall. We can try tomorrow, though. I would like to try to get the most damage overall. I spent a lot of money on these tech parts. I don't cheat in the game. It's time to get the most damage. Zero. Here we go. Void power, 24. Brick, 3. Lightning emitter, 2. Soccer ball, 10. Type B drone, 36. Type A drone, 25. So that's the new boss, the bouncy bear. If you have any tips or questions, leave a comment below. Smash like and subscribe. I'll see you guys later.